Hi, so um, people are always asking me for book recommendations and anyone who knows me well knows that I'm always reading, um, <laughs> always reading at least a couple different books, usually a, a fiction and I also like to always have a nonfiction or self-help, self-improvement type of book that I'm reading and over the years I've accumulated um, some of my favorites, so I'm going to share that with you today. And none of these are divorce books, but they are books that really just, no matter where you are in your life, um, if you're facing some sort of challenge and adversity, they're books that just like really make you feel good and lift you up and kind of make you feel like you can do anything. So um, this is my stack of books and I'm just going to share them with you. Um, and uh, maybe you'll find one of them helpful too. So my first, and maybe one of my favorites, is the You Are a Badass book. And the subtitle is How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Um, who doesn't want that? I love this book. Um, and it's, it's just a really easy read. It's funny. Um, it really just taps into to everything that's so good um, as to kind of how to lift yourself up and get through challenges. Um, so that would be my first book on my list. Um, I'm a huge Gabby Bernstein fan and really anything by her is a good choice. Um, I love her outlook on everything. Uh, now she is a spiritual person so that means there's always that part that gets infused into her message and don't let that scare you off because it's really good stuff um, and she's sharing wisdom from years and years of studying um, and she's she's really just kind of her awesome, cool, real, honest person. And anything that she writes is um, is really just nuggets of gold and wisdom. So this particular book is called Super Attractor, but she has other ones out there as well. Um, I've posted about this book a few times lately, Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Oh, this book is just kind of like, um, makes you want to like stand on a mountain and pound your chest. It's so just empowering and it just challenges us to kind of strip away everything that we thought we were supposed to be to become the person who we're meant to be. So this one is a really good, fun one and everyone um, I know who has read it um, feels the same way about it. Um, so I would recommend that as well. Um, this one is, uh, has been one of my favorites um, that I read lately called Maybe You Should Talk to Someone. So this author is a therapist who shares her journey of her own therapy as well as um, her client's journey. And I really think as I was reading it, I could see myself in every single one of her clients. Um, it's a really good thought-provoking um a book that makes you sort of step back and look at yourself and really um, ask some really hard questions. Um, so that's a great one too. And last but not least is a book that I can't believe it took me so long to read, but I just finished The Four Agreements. And this was a recommendation um, that I, uh, from actually a few different people. And so I finally picked it up and you can see it's like super bite-sized and small and thin and really easy to read, but let me tell you, like this is a game changer book. Like this is a life changer. It's so easy to um, really remember and learn and kind of there's four agreements and y you memorize them just by reading them. And I think that it's something if you bring to every day, um, your life will just be enriched by it. And it's particularly helpful and useful, I think for people who are going through a divorce um, because they, he gives you some tools on how to deal with adversity and how to deal with someone um, who's really picking a fight, which so often with co-parenting and ex-spouses that happens. Um, and I just love the approach that he offers and his suggestions on how um, to deal with that. So again, it's not a divorce book, but this is like a life book. So those are my recommendations. Um, I love all of these and um, summer is a great time to pick up something and 
just um, dive into something new and get your get your wheels turning. Um, I'll do another video on my favorite fiction books, um, but that might, video might take like a really long time and I might be here for an hour because I have so many. So happy summer, uh, happy reading, and I'll uh, see you soon.